All right, so now you know how aligns work. And you should also be able to find any align anywhere. But the last question remains, how do we use the aligns? How do we know which align is the best for a jump like this, a corner jump? So the way I like to explain this is by trying to figure out what the main spike of the jump is. What is the, which spike is the biggest obstacle when it comes to doing a jump? In the case of a corner jump, the biggest issue is actually this top spike. This one right here. That spike is the biggest issue and the reason why this is difficult. So as a general rule of thumb, try to figure out the main spike of a jump and then align with that spike. Now we can't just align with a spike the same way we can align with a block, obviously, because when we try to align with it, it's just gonna kill us. That's how a spike works. So instead, let's instead imagine that there's a block right on top of the spike. If there was a block right here, I would want to grab the align that get, gets me as close as possible to the spike, which is this block. If I hit this block, the distance between me and the spike will be zero. Therefore, it will be the best align. So let's imagine that there is a wall there and we can count using this imaginary wall. So one, two, three, one, two, three. And translating to the other wall gives us this align. So this align will be the best for this corner jump. For a lot of jumps, there are actually two good aligns and one bad one. Well, it usually goes one good one, one pretty good one, and one terrible one. And the way you think of that is uh, aligning with the main spike gives you the best one. The other spike gives you the mediocre one and neither spike gives you the worst one. So this wall will be the best. This will be the second best. And these outside walls will be the worst. So these walls will be the worst. And when you have this align, this jump is going to be more difficult than normally it would be. Another example here. As a general rule of thumb, if you want to get on the edge of a block, the align you should take is the opposite side of that block. So if you want to get on the edge of this block, like on the left side, you want to grab the right side. And now I'm uh, only one pixel on the block on this block. And if I get on the, the edge of this, you grab this side. And if you want to get on the edge of a side, for instance, if you want to jump up here, you have this jump, the best align will be this wall, and the worst align would actually be the other wall. Because the next time we will move to the left, it's going to move us three pixels in. So right now I'm three pixels on the ledge, which means I have the worst align for this. Now knowing the edge align is not only useful for ledge jump, but also useful for anything where you need to walk off and you have a spike like this. If you grab the edge align, you're going to be on the very edge of this, and you're going to be able to walk off and then jump. This is super helpful for things like these, this T-bone right here. And also, something good to know, if, if there's just a mini spike like this, you can just walk off. You don't have to jump. In some cases, there are actually two aligns that are equally as good. Let's take an example here. This jump right here. If you want to full jump off this block without hitting the spike, there are two aligns that are equally as good. You want to get the either the edge of this block 
or the other one, which is not this one. This is the worst align because it's going to put you three pixels on the edge. You want to be as far out on the edge as possible. And if you are three pixels on the edge, that means you can't move to the right without falling off. So this time it's gonna actually going to be impossible to do this. It's the only align that doesn't work. So the other align that will work is this one right here. The, in these cases, the aligns are just as good as, you, as, you, as each other. Another case of this is the corner jump. When you want to jump out of a single corner jump. In this case, the align doesn't matter. Because no matter what, it's going to be frame perfect either way. But the worst align, which will be this one, because you, now you're aligning with either spike. The worst align is actually going to make this impossible. This is going to be impossible to actually uh, single jump through. The only way I can do this is by doing a short hop and then another double jump. Which is very, very awkward. Now, sometimes there's also aligns that don't matter at all. Doesn't matter which one you grab. These cases are a bit more rare, but you should know about them nonetheless. So right here we have three different jumps that are all align independent. And also the 16 pixel gap. Doesn't matter which align I have for these three jumps. They will all be the same. And you can de demonstrate this by trying to move around in the 16 pixel gap. No matter how you move, you're always going to have two frames of leeway inside a 16 pixel gap. Even on line 2, still two frames of leeway. Line 0, still two frames of leeway. In some cases, the align isn't exactly obvious. So, for in the case of a double diamond first here. First of all, when I align with the, the first spike, that spike is the main issue. So just align with the first spike. Now, when you have a something like a ceiling diamond, I'd be thinking, oh, let's align with this first spike. That should be logical, right? But that is actually not the case because you have to think of it as, as a different jump. This jump is actually a double diamond from up here what the jump is actually like because you're kind of doing it in the same way you're just having an extra spike in front of you so in this case grabbing this align would actually be bad instead you would want to grab this align like imagine this is a double diamond like so where you want to grab this align in which case that is the best one The cases where, like, aligns aren't obvious are much, much rarer. Usually don't really need to worry about them. So yes, that should be just about everything you need to know. You learn that every third block is the same align as long as you touch from the same side. Like so. To translate. To go like this. And to find the best align for a jump you she just align with the quote unquote main spike of a jump in this case it's the top one which is right here counting to three so all these should be the best align for this corner jump i hope this helped and if you have any questions do post in the comments below and i will do my best to answer them thank you for watching